Sup y'all, welcome to your 57th Objective C tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about, well actually not we, I'm going to be talking about arrays, you're going to be listening hopefully. So, I don't mean arrays like what you need at your job, I'm talking about an array, A-R-R-A-Y, that's how you say it. Now, what an array is, essentially all it is, is it's one variable that can hold many values. So, say before we had int x and we set it equal to 54. This is one variable, one value. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how one variable can be equal to many different values. In this case, I'm going to be making an array called food. I'm going to be setting it equal to a bunch of different objects. Now, I'm also going to be showing you, since you have one pretty much variable equal to a bunch of different objects, how you access each object. It's actually pretty cool and pretty useful. So, you know, just like before when we talked about mutable and unmutable strings, there's also mutable and unmutable arrays. Now, a mutable array, of course, means that it can be changed. Immutable arrays means that it has to stay the same throughout your program. Now, immutable arrays are, hangle, are handled by the NS array class. That's the one we're going to be creating today. We'll probably create a mutable array later on and this is handled by the ns mutable array class but anyways let's make an unchanging immutable array so ns array i'm going to store a bunch of food objects which is pretty much a bunch of strings and in order to create this create ns array that's the class you want to name your array or variable mine's called food and in order to create your actual array put ns array make a method in this don't make it. It's a built-in method called array with objects plural. Don't forget the s right there. Now, <coughs> sorry, I got whoop and cough. Now, what you're able to do is you're able to pass in a bunch of objects, and they're all going to be stored in this one food variable. So let's go ahead and you know, let me think of some food. I'll make it in order. So apples, bacon. Uh, let's see, see, corn is a food. Um, let's see, D, donuts. Do you know there are two different ways to spell donuts? Pretty cool, huh? And, uh, might as well keep going. Let's see, E, I can't think of any of that. Elfs? I can't think of any food that starts with E, sorry. And, uh, fudge, I'll name it fidge, why not? And you always need to signal your array with the keyword nil and this isn't when you like print out your array it doesn't get printed or anything it just tells your array that this is the end of it so let me first show you how to print out one item in array how to access it ns log alright the first thing I want to point out is this your array is referenced by each index so for example this food array has one, two, three, four, five, six objects in it. And remember, each time you're referencing something on a computer program, it starts with zero. So this apples is food zero. Bacon is food one. Donuts would be food three. And this fidge would be food zero. One, two, three, four, five. So that is how you access, be like, all right, I'm hungry for food two. So this is zero, one, two. That means I'm hungry for corn got it that's uh, my straightforward example of how to reference array objects so let's say we wanted to print out um, well, let's go ahead and just print out corn so go ahead and press percent at to print out any object and what do we want to print out an object from the food array well object object at index and then you write what index it is and go ahead and press 2 and remember since you're referencing these um, they're called the index each member in an array is called the index since you start with zero apples is zero bacon is one and corn should be two so when we print out object in the food array at index two it should be corn so let's go ahead and save this and check this out corn beautiful program all it does is output corn let's sell this baby to Microsoft so that is how you print out each individual index but check this out we could go ahead if we wanted to print out all the items in our array and make that line six times and print out objects at index zero, objects at index one, objects at index two. 
but a more efficient way to loop through an array and print out every object would be to build a loop of course so let's go ahead and build a for loop and this is the most common loop for looping through an array so let's uh, create a variable just counting variable called i and go ahead and put i is less than six since remember there's six elements in an array but you don't want to set it equal to six because it starts with zero not one so it's going to be zero one two three four five and those are your six numbers and then go ahead and plus i plus plus to loop through you know sequentially it's going to go zero one two um yeah you don't want to loop them two at a time or anything but ns log and for our print statement just put item at index percent i and this is going to give you what index you're at starting with zero ending with five and just put is percent a so first we're going to output the index which is i zero through five and then we're going to output the object so food object at index and then just put i so instead of passing a number in here it's automatically going to pass the value zero through five and print out the objects accordingly so check this out save item at index zero is apples item at index two is corn item at index four is elves couldn't think of a food and five is fidge which i meant fudge but you know it gets the point across so that is pretty much how to loop through an array and depending at what index the object is at print it out accordingly so uh... yeah you might want to study this code for a while and once you figure out kind of what an array is pretty much one variable called food holds a bunch of different stuff but uh... yeah i mean that's essentially it so again this is an immutable array it can't be changed in the next tutorial i probably create an immutable array or excuse me immutable it's a uh, it's a little different but yeah i'm going to be copying the source code posting it in the link below if you want it so uh... yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and definitely check out the next tutorial it's going to be real helpful